I don't know, y'all. We damn near halfway through June, and we still don't have an R&B summer bop yet. It ain't looking good for the home team. But just know that I'm here to do what needs to be done. Yes. This is definitely a breezy LMA type thing. Real good type thing. Something you play at brunch, you know? Huh. What's good, y'all? I'm Trenton Kips. As always, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, tapping in, especially, mm -hmm. especially for locking in. Now, for as long as I can remember, there's always been an R&B record that carried me through the summer. For a lot of us, this is where our two to three month situationship start. You know, you at a function, eyeing up this little sweetie bop, waiting for her to give you that look. Y'all know the look. Before you know it, that one joint come on. You start singing it. She starts singing it. Then you make your move. And just like that, y'all locked in. Y'all twizzies. This y'all song now. Whether y'all like it or not, y'all stuck with it. Now for better or for worse, these types of records always teleport me back in time. And I'm just hoping we can bring that energy back to popular music. For this beat, I'm at 88 BPM. And I started with a kick and snap pattern. Something like so. Uh-huh. Nothing too crazy yet. Hmm. That snapped nice, though. Then I added a hi-hat and an open hat to get more groove going. Hmm. Damn, right? All up in my shade. Uh. Whoa. It's got a little... Uh. <laughs> I ain't going... <laughs> From there, I switched over to the harmony, starting with this Chrono X preset in Purity. Mm. It's a little different sounding. It's cool. Let's loop that real quick. Nice. Real simple. Am I distorting? I swear this should be recorded. Now it's time to get into the theory behind the chords. And I know some of y'all like, well, well, so and so don't know theory, and, and he 30 times platinum. You're not him. Oh, man. Your name is Benedict, and you live in Dakota. So you need all the help you can get, Benedict. Now let's lock the fuck in. I'm in the key of C. First chord is an F major 7, sus 2. D minor 7. C major 7. E minor 7. I then layered that with this E flute preset from Fruity's DX10. Don't ask me why or how I came across this or why I used it. It should just be like this sometimes. That's a nice little texture. For sure. Run it back. I fucks with it. Definitely added some movement. I got some effects on there for sure. What we got going on? Oh, I'm wildin'. So I got a chorus, a reverb, a delay, a love filter, and effect tricks. I was going, I don't usually do this. You know when, when people say that. <laughs> but not me though. Now the final chapter in the Book of Harmony is this felt piano preset from Contact 7. Now with the first two layers, they're block chords, they're static. For this one, I wanted to switch it up, add some more movement. So these chords, I'm playing a little bit more broken. Whew. That, hmm. Man, that's some pretty ass playing. That running the egg crazy, my boy. I'm moving on to the bass. I use this P91 shot and I just got busy. I just I just did what I had to do. Yo. That sounds crazy. Huh. That shit sound distorted as a beach. And 
Next, I added some melodic air candy using a combination of Gladiator and two one shots. I talk about these sprinkles all the time and they're sparse and far and few in between, but when they hit, they're just little memorable melodic moments. Ooh, memorable melodic moments. That was off the twizzy too. I'm nice with this shit, man. So I've been on my string thing lately. So I use this Orchestra One preset, NM1. Nothing too elaborate. <laughs> But it worked though. Not again. But it worked though. Finally, the lead. Maybe my favorite part? I don't know. Between this and the bass, it's close. I used this vintage synth lead plus in expand and woo! Oh man. That's just gorgeous. Huh. Let's just talk about my melodic techniques real quick. You see it here, like clear as day. Repetition. You gotta repeat shit. That's the only way people remember stuff. You gotta repeat shit. That's the only way people remember stuff. You gotta repeat. You see? You see? You could probably finish the sentence now. Space. Because when you leave space, the next thing you say becomes more important. Right? You know what? This shit is a lot like speech and language. It's the same principles. Think about conversation, tone, and space, and dynamics, loud and soft. Apply those to your melodies, and you'll see a huge change in your production. Back to the drums to wrap it up. Got a little percussion party going, hosted by a triangle, cowbell, a rim, and a block. Add a little arrangement magic, and this one's out of here, my boy. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. Once again, I'm Trenton Kibbs. As always, appreciate y'all for tuning in, tapping in, especially, mm -hmm, especially for locking in. Let's run it. Ooh, them keys at the start. Just beautiful, man. Breakdown. Yes. This is definitely a breezy LMA type thing. Yeah. Real good type thing. Something you play at brunch, you know? Huh. Obviously the uh verse. It's simple and we're gonna start to build back up. Bring the hats in. Uh -huh. Those strings. That's how you tra transition to the second half. Mm -hmm. Bass. It's always gotta be something new be added. Every verse or taken away, like here. Where we going? Transition to the hook. My favorite part. Somebody call Briss Breezy right now. I'll give him this one for the free ski. Pause. <laughs> All right, second verse. I think I did something different with the arrangement. Uh, yeah, I started off with the bass in the first two, uh, first two four bars, and then I took it out. Too cool little vibe, man. Y'all vibing with me still? Uh, here we go. Keys, man. Uh, I think we about to be out of here, y'all. I got a flight to catch. I ain't trying to flex, no. <laughs> I got 
I get this shit out real quick. Alright. Oh. I'll see y'all soon. We back on the regular schedule, y'all. Trust. Alright?